Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can automate a file export from SAP, so from the SAP GUI to the Excel. Here right now I am in the data browser, so in the transaction code SE16N, I have displayed some purchase orders within the table echo and within the toolbar here, within the ALV grid control, you can export your data. So once you clicked on this, then you have the possibility to select a spreadsheet and then within here you can select your necessary needed format. So for example, in this case, I would like to use XLS. X, so for Excel. And if you use this format always, then you can, of course, select this checkbox always use selected format. For me, this is totally fine. I would like to continue. So I would like to confirm my input. And then within here, basically, you can, yeah, you can change the proposed file name. And within here, of course, you can also select or change your path to that you will save this Excel file. Um, for this, for this demo purpose, it'll totally fine. So I will click on save. And then here you can see that this file has been downloaded. And here right now we can see the downloaded data. And now, of course, you can do some analysis. You can transfer this data into some external systems and so on. And of course, for a lot of purposes, Excel is still the yeah, state of the art um, software for calculating, for using with the data in FI. And so, of course, there are a lot of great transactions within SAP or a lot of great uh, Fiori apps to help you out. But yeah, um, for a great purposes, you will still use Excel for some cases. And now I would like to show you how you can automate these uh, manual um, file export and you can do this with SAP GUI scripting. And general SAP GUI scripting allows you to automate tasks within the SAP GUI because you will record your tasks within the SAP GUI. You will save a VBA, so a Visual Basic application file and um, that you will can rerun multiple times that you can of course change within a editor that you can implement in a excel file to reuse this code and and so on so this is really really great so in general to use sap GUI scripting here you can click on this customized local layout button once you are logged into your sap system and then within here you basically have two options available for the SAP GUI scripting. Uh, in some cases for you, if SAP GUI scripting is not supported and is not available, then within the system information here for me, we can see that SAP GUI scripting is, um, yeah, is turned on. But uh, for you, you don't see this icon here in the bottom right corner. And to activate SAP GUI scripting, therefore you have to open up a transaction and that's the R set 11 and within here you basically have to use this profile uh, this is parameter it's sub GUI slash user underscore scripting and once you click on the display then you can see what this uh, yeah what this uh, parameter basically does so it enables or disables the user scripting so the SAP scripting on the front end and currently as mentioned it is set to true the default value is uh, false so yeah i have to keep in mind and you have to change this to true so for example here you can click on this change value button and then within here you just have to type in true and if you would like to change it on all your sap servers then you can also select this checkbox switch on all servers so for me right now i have already um yeah activated the sap GUI screen so that's not needed right now. There are some other parameters regarding SAP GUI scripting, um, but basically that's the most important one. And if you have any questions regarding activating SAP GUI scripting, 
um, yeah, just put them in the comment section, please. Um, I will produce own videos about SLBQ scripting. So yeah, please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss those great upcoming videos. But in general, as mentioned here right now, you have to make sure that the SLBQ scripting is activated. And of course here, no script is currently running, but we will change this, of course. So, and to do this, first of all, uh, I go in the start screen and I can recommend you also to start within the start screen. There are some purposes not to, to start in the start screen, but you have always keep in mind that SAP GUI scripting or the script records every task you're doing within the SAP GUI. Um, so if you would like to yeah, to execute it afterwards, um, you have to make sure that it is still working in every environment, in every situation. Um, so to do this, first of all, you have to click on this customized local layout button and then you have to click on script recording and playback. And once you've clicked on this, then basically here you can see that you have two areas, one area for the record section and one area for the playback section. And basically down here you have three buttons, two basically now are available. So you can record a script, you can playback a script and you can stop your action, stop um, your, your, your um, recording, uh, stop your script. And basically, if you are click on the record script, then basically a um, a script, so a VBS file will be created. So for the Visual Basic code, and um, on this uh, selected path, well, if you would like to change it, then here you can change it manually, or you can just click on the browse button to select your path within the explorer and you have to keep in mind that within the playback section that's one possibility to run your vbs file so to run your recorded script and to automate the manual file export so this is what we're gonna do in a couple of minutes but right now um yeah this is um totally fine uh, that i would like to save it within here within the download section um, or I can I can of course change it uh, just to my to my temporary uh, path. And here right now I now click on the record script button to start recording my script. And now what I'm gonna do here, uh, of course you can see that now the script is running based on this icon. Um, you ha doesn't have you don't have to matter about the time. You just have to um, make sure and be aware of the steps you are now doing. About the action you were doing because everything will be recorded. So first right now we have to open up our transaction where you are doing your file export and as mentioned I um, have been done this in the data browser so in the transaction SE16N and you should use the prefix slash n upfront because once you're running the script then basically every action will be executed in the SAP GUI and for example if you have any open transaction then just SE16N won't work. So then hit the enter key. Then I would like to enter the table echo. Uh, if it was selected, please, uh, of course, enter this table once again because, yeah. Uh, for some cases, the previous enter table is saved and used within the data browser um, based on the session. So here, make sure to type in your table. And within here, if you want to, you can always um, yeah, under go to and variants. There you can get a variant if you want to. For me, that's not uh, necessary, but I would like to yeah, type in one uh, specific a user to that I would like to select or yeah, use the var condition in the selection and basically yeah I would recommend using variants and not typing in manually but that's totally fine and then just execute the selection and then you have your output if you want to. Uh, you can also choose a layout uh, if you need this with the output. Yeah, but basically now what we're gonna do is we click on this export button once again on spreadsheet. Yeah, I would like to use this format. And then right now here you can basically here enter your 
um, your directory and your file name for this so I will use this one and then I would like to replace it in case of uh, yeah there is any existing one um, if you just would like to create a new one and it just simply can click on generate but for me there is already a file so then I click on the replace and then down here you have seen or you see right now that basically yeah, your uh, Excel file um, has been downloaded and created and I would like yeah, now to, to um, uh, close this for a second but what is really important to finish your recording successfully you have to open up this uh, window once again and now you can see that those two buttons are invisible and just this button is uh, available to, to click on and now you have to stop your recording and yeah that's that's all you have to do if we open up the explorer so here right now we can see our created uh, script uh, yeah, now what we gonna do if uh, you just would like to um, yeah do uh, the export once again, then you just have to double click on the script. Then yeah, you have to uh, accept this because the script is attempting to access your SAP GUI. That's totally fine. And then maybe in the background you can see some uh, red frames. Um, yeah, but basically it has uh, worked successfully because um, yeah, it has downloaded the Excel file, the Excel data, the SAP data into Excel once again. So this is totally fine. I will close this for a second. And maybe if you have recognized basically also for the time this uh, has been changed. So this is a new file. So yeah, this is uh, totally fine. This has worked successfully. And of course, if we would like to uh, run it directly within um, within the SAP GUI, you can do this exactly the same. So here you can just click on this customer's local layout and then script recording and playback. And then within here, just uh, click on the playback script. Yeah, you just have to confirm this once again. Directly can see what is uh, yeah, the script doing in background or for you in foreground and now it has worked again successfully and the great is because if we would like to to have a deeper look into this VBS file so you we just right click and then we open it with notepad plus plus we can directly see within here what happened and um, this is great what I meant because within here if you want to you can also change your data um, within here uh, if you would like it but of course as, as we see right now every step every input has been recorded but you can use it within uh, VBA within Excel you can put in this code reuse it um, you can you can ex have a lot of potential using automation within file export and so on and yeah if you like this video please hit the like button if you have any questions regarding file automation regarding automation between SAP and Excel please put them in the comment section and please, as mentioned, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I plan to produce a lot of videos about SAP GUI scripting. I also plan to produce an own video about uh, other programming with uh, file automation because there is also a possibility to create other programs to do those steps because, uh, yeah, you still have to do something. So, um, there I will explain uh, how you can create an other program that is doing those steps. Um, so yeah, please subscribe to never miss those great videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.